September 17th, 2024. That's the morning my husband Sean and I woke up early while on vacation in Hawaii to go on a sunrise hike at the Makapu'u Point Lighthouse Trail. Little did I know that that hike would change my life forever. We ended up leaving the house a little later than we wanted to, so we hurried over to the trail, walked briskly up to the point, and perfectly positioned ourselves for sunrise at 618. It ended up being one of those hurry up and wait moments because 618 came and went with nothing special that happened because right at the horizon was a row of clouds blocking the sun. After a while, Sean asked if I wanted to head back down and I told him that I wanted to move just beyond the railing and sit on a rock for a few minutes longer. As I made my way to that rock, I got a text notification on my watch from my Uncle Ray saying, life well lived. Starting to panic, I already knew what that message meant even before picking up my phone and scrolling through my missed messages only to find out that my 95 year old Lola, which means grandmother in Tagalog, passed quietly in her sleep. The only words that kept running through my mind were, if it wasn't for the war, I would have been a piano player. Those are the words that my Lola said to me on Mother's Day of last year. That one statement was mind blowing to me because while I knew that she played the piano, not once had I ever considered that in an alternate universe, that would have been her chosen career path. It was the first piece of the puzzle that connected me to my ancestral roots of creativity. And it meant so much because as a child, I was creative and imaginative. I remember one year I made myself this bright yellow Garfield sweatshirt that I drew and painted over with puff paints. But somewhere along the way, I lost my creative confidence and I stopped taking all risks. When life became more about getting good grades, pleasing my parents, being the perfect role model, and just trying to fit in. It's only been within the last four years of my life that I began to heal from the harmful effects of the societal norms and pressures that have pushed me further and further away from my authentic self. But I'm now on my healing journey to take back my creativity and those words taught me so much. They also led to more questions and my Lola started opening up about her father's tailoring business, her mother who would cook meals and open her home to soldiers during World War II, and the moment that she discovered that her grandfather was a wood sculptor. It was like I had just earned this key that unlocked this hidden map, connecting all the dots, revealing who I am, where I come from, and affirming that I am on the right path into living into my own creative dream that connects my passion for making with my expertise in education. I, Genevieve Picada, daughter of Victorina and Francisco Santos, granddaughter of Purificacion Cooling, I'm the oldest of her 13 grandchildren. I'm a creator and maker with a dream of using my gifts to help others discover and pursue their own creative passions. And because of my Lola's sacrifices and the freedom and privilege that I get to dream, that's exactly what I get to do. While I know that my Lola has made sacrifices in her lifetime, marrying as a young teenager, moving from the Philippines to the United States in the 1950s, raising nine children while my grandfather worked two jobs just to put food on the table. Somehow this idea that my Lola sacrificed her own personal dream while I'm living into mine, it hit a lot differently. As I pondered these thoughts, I remembered that growing up with her, I did have a front row seat to her creative dream as a piano player. And I remember her singing the song, Da Hill Sayo. And she would belt it out with every fiber of her being as if it were her anthem. 
Dahil sa'yo na iskong mabuhay. I've come to that learn that that song is a song of deep loss, but it's also a song of gratitude and hope for the future. Dahil sa'yo means because of you. Dahil sayo, Lola, because of you, I know who I am, where I come from, and how to carry on this incredible legacy that you've left me with. And as I sat there on that rock, I allowed all of those memories and those beautiful thoughts to rush over me as I allowed myself to cry and grieve and let out all the sadness and grief that I felt in that moment. And as I looked up, there it was, the sun peeking out just above the clouds, as if my Lola were there giving me a nice warm hug, telling me everything was going to be okay. Dahil sayo, Lola. Because of you, I will continue to create, to inspire, and to honor this incredible legacy that you left me with.